All right, so what we're going to do is uh, take a picture here, and um, really it doesn't matter where you are, are you inside, outside, I, I think these kind of, uh, the process I'm about to show you works for both interiors and exteriors. Okay, so first thing first, just see this little icon down here, and it's the image icon. Okay, so it's a, we're going to take a, an image here to render out. Okay, so I've done two before, and there's one here. Okay, and there's another one, daytime, nighttime kind of. Um, you know, early evening shot. So I'm going to start from zero. I'm going to go back and I'm going to be here where it says image, and then we're going to go to create. Okay, as you can see right now, this is what I'm looking at, and there it is in here. And there's a this this icon here is kind of um, you know refresh right here. Look at the dots, rename. Okay, so an opportunity. I'm just going to call this shot three for now. Okay, shot three, and uh, let's call it lighting. Okay, so I have it named. So that part works. And that my favorite part, of course, uh, there are two parts. Okay, so without confusing anybody, time right here. Okay, what does that mean? Time of day. All right, so this is my shot. I am controlling the time of day from outside. Okay, so you can see right now we're going out where, where it's only lights inside. All right, so you decide. Okay, so there's another method of doing the same thing. But with a little more detail, all right? So I'm just going to go to more, which is my favorite here, camera setting. So what kind of lens do you want to use? This is a 50 lens. And take a look at this, all right? I, myself, will stick to 19, 20, 10, 80. 12, 80, 7, 20, for sure a safe bet. I would avoid this at the moment until you have a high processor, especially within schools, all right? So this is kind of cool. I can type in, like, let's say, for example, 35 lens right there. And then uh, what you want to do is correct your perspective. Basically, the vertical line is not on an angle. Okay, so there it is. That's done nicely. Okay, so this is nice. And I'm just going to vignette basically gives you a nice, uh, you know, remember those classical pictures in the past where black and white with sepia tone and this little vignette. Okay, so you can do certain effects like that. I can quit the media mode, come back. So here's my shot three lighting. So if I double click, this is the shot. Okay, all right. So let's see, what can I do with this? I have it here. There's another step altogether. So you have to quit the media. We're done. Okay. Now I'm going to come out here. And this time it says image export. Okay. So this is technically the next step after creating. Here's where you set it up, your type of camera you have. So I set, and here's the shot, create, no problem. Once you've done that, you have to go to export. All right. So this looks empty, right? Don't be fooled. Look at these little lines here. Ooh, we have image one, two, or three. We'll go with shot three. And if I stay at this point, ooh, there's more. What does that mean? Maximum reflection, maximum lighting. I'm not going to touch any of these right now. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to say export. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my desktop quickly uh, right here and just say shot three. Okay, shot underscore o three. We know what it is. And path does not exist. Well, that, oops, sorry, I need a folder first. My apologies. Uh, twin motion lessons, select a folder, and it's going to go up here. It already knows it's shot three. All right, so we'll say this will not take much time. Okay, so there's my shot. It's gone out there. So I'll just go to my desktop. And we'll just go from there. So I believe I have twin motion lessons in here. And shot number three is right here. Okay. And let's see, there it is. Okay, there's my shot at that daytime with a bit of light in the background. All right, so I guess I'll have to do this lesson one more time. 